Okay, this is a video on my Mercury 150 Black Max. I'm changing the stator on it, and um, I've already got everything disassembled. I kind of put it back together just for demonstration purposes in case this can help somebody. Um, just keep in mind, I uh, am not a mechanic. I don't know what the hell I was doing digging into this. I had to do a lot of reading and research on it. Uh, it's a 1981 Black Max, and um, it's really hard to find uh, the information that I needed for it. But uh, anyway, so hopefully this helps somebody, and uh, if it doesn't, sorry I wasted your time. But uh, so the stator is underneath the flywheel, which is right here. The wiring comes down, you can see how my wiring is all jacked up right here, going into the switch boxes. So I'll be replacing the stator and uh, uh, the trigger that's underneath the stator uh, just to you know, get rid of all this dry rotted and you know exposed wire. So yeah, let me, uh, let's get on with it, let's try and keep this short and sweet. So. Uh, All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to remove this cover. You've got three wing nuts that hold this cover on. And uh, it's one, two, three right here, if you've got the same motor as I do. Um, and you've got a 15 16 nut right here. It's actually holding the flywheel down. And um, I actually tried to use this 15 16 socket and wrench, but I couldn't keep the flywheel Still, I even bought a strap wrench, uh, which broke, uh, but it came from Harbor Freight, so it was a piece of garbage. So, anyway, I wound up using a 19 volt impact gun uh, with my socket, and I just put it down on top of there. Uh, I apologize, my impact gun is in the garage charging. So, anyway, it was a half inch drive, I just sat it on there and zapped it two seconds that thing spun right off so that was pretty awesome uh, I'd fought with it for an hour and a half trying to get it off every other way uh, but the impact gun is definitely the best way for somebody to go to get that nut off and um, after that at that point um, well Jesus I just dropped the piece that I need I keep forgetting that it's inside so, try not to be as stupid as I am most of the time. But I ordered this. This is a flywheel puller. I actually uh, called a marine dealer, Mercury dealer, and they were wanting uh, like a hundred and some bucks for it. I found it on Amazon, good old Amazon. Uh, this thing's made in China, but I got it in uh, next day delivery off of Amazon Prime. So, and I paid, oh, I want to say I paid about seven bucks for it. So, big difference, but it's really good and uh, it definitely worked. So, it comes in these three pieces. So, what you do is you take this small piece, put it down over top of the nut on the shaft, you take this piece and see how it's threaded. Now, on my flywheel, it's threaded on the inside. so. This goes over that, it screws down, it screws into the flywheel, and all the way down until it stops. You take your bolt and you put that in there. Screw it down all the way until it stops. And take your socket, your 15 16 socket, put that over it. Take your impact gun and just ram that down in there. And that that flywheel is going to pop right up and it's not going to like shoot off but it'll pop up and lift off enough my flywheel has got splines on it um, I don't have the key so that's pretty good I guess so you take this back off you set it off to the side don't forget that little piece is in there and then you take your nut and you back it off all the way take it off at this point your flywheel is going to be sitting up like this nice and loose you just 
lift it straight up it's gonna be a little tough because you got magnets in there but it comes right off don't lose that washer let's put the nut back in there and I'll set this off to the side then you can see you know my crankshaft is splined right there so but here's your stator you want to just you got four screws holding that in one here one here one here and one here and they're allen head uh, screws which look just like this uh, at least again on my engine and uh, like I said there was one here one here one here one here they came out pretty easy no problem and uh, at that point when I got them all out my stator just lifts right off and it's ready to change and you got your trigger underneath here which I'm going to be changing too and just disconnect it over here and then uh, yeah, it comes out I think no I don't know I haven't got that far yet but uh, I think I've got the hard part over with already so I'm going to change this stator and the trigger fix up uh, all these wires that are corroded I'm not going to change my switch boxes um, I don't believe those are bad I am changing my rectifier which is right back here it's hard to see but um, the marine dealer told me from changing the stator and the uh, uh, trigger then I should change the rectifier not to worry about the switch boxes because they're probably not bad but um, so the stator I got off of Amazon and the rectifier I paid one fifty-nine for the stator and it's a CDI stator and uh, I got the rectifier also it's a CDI rectifier I believe and I paid about eleven bucks for that so um, not too bad of a cost here uh, I'll get my power back and basically what was happening was was uh, you know at full throttle well when I launched the boat it was fine it's kind of hesitating went out boating for the day sat and swam fished a little bit and I was coming back in and uh, I had no power it just bogged down I was full throttle pushing maybe 2,000 rpms and the water back here was just churning like crazy but I was going nowhere hardly so I did make it back to the dock uh, and uh, everybody told me yeah your rectifier is bad that's what happens so so anyway you know for the cost of the repair I'm doing it myself I said what the hell I probably needed it anyway so I am changing it so hopefully uh, this helps somebody and um, yeah don't be too rough on me in the comments. Like I said, I'm not a mechanic, so, you know, this, this is kind of a learn as I go. Uh, it's not rocket science. I'm not doing anything that I can screw up. I'm uh, paying close attention to everything that I undo so I can do it back the way I did it before. So, uh, good luck. Hope this helps somebody. Thanks for watching.